day everybody i really hope that everybody is doing really really well this is the third time i'm doing the narration for this video each time something happens and oh my god here we go again so what i'm doing here is i'm just uh, trying to preserve these dried roses they're rose buds um, and the way I'm doing that is dipping them into the resin, which has been mixed one to one ratio. It's a mad artist resin, which I absolutely love. So I'm just uh, dipping. This is a double dip. I'm double dipping people. Uh, so I did this a while ago and now I'm dipping them again into resin just to preserve them and to kind of strengthen them as well. So and then just uh, kind of putting them into uh, a cup which had the bottom cut out of them and just uh, using a peg to kind of uh, hold them in place and let them drip nicely. So I'm, I'm doing that with a couple more uh, little rose buds. These roses um, have a significant meaning to my auntie who has just uh, gone back to Europe and she spent a few months with me. She was a great help in the studio and the work shed. She just... Uh, wanted to help out and is just an amazing amazing positive person so I wanted to do something for her she loved these roses they were given to her and uh, I've kept them just as a little surprise and I will send the end product to her and she will get a real kick out of them so you just have to watch the video till the end to see what uh, comes out but I'm sure that you've already seen the product uh, or a, as, a, as a thumbnail of this, this video so you know I gave it, gave it away a bit there but it's all good I don't mind sharing among friends so if you don't mind just watch the end of the video and uh, watch uh, all the way through to see all the trials and the little challenges that I had doing this. This is the first time I've done this kind of uh, piece where it's it's really a sculpture, if you want to word it right. But uh, it's the first time for me. So I kind of didn't have a practice run. I just went with it as I do and wanted to share with with my friends on YouTube so that you can see what I'm doing. I am just adding a little bit of resin into the bottom of this silicone cup and inside it I will add some blue crushed glass uh, just to give me a little bit of texture. At this stage I'm not sure what else I'm going to put in the cup but uh, I, I will be putting some crushed glass just like roughly crushed and uh, it's blue in color and my auntie absolutely loves blue any shade of blue will do this woman she just loves blue so blue it is in goes the the chips or rather the crushed glass and i'm just kind of using a little shish kebab stick to to move them around and arrange them so they sit properly at the bottom of this cup maybe hearing a little bird chirping around it's just my parrot chippy she just wants to play and she can see me uh, sitting here and wondering why aren't you playing with me so what I'm doing here back to the video I was just heating that uh, resin inside the cup to you know try to get to the bubbles to rise up to the top because at this stage I'm thinking I don't want too many bubbles in here but you will see that there will be bubbles in the whole the the end piece but they actually look amazing in there 
So keep watching to, to see the end result. So I've decided to, to pop in the roses at this stage while the resin is still wet and I'm going with three and I'm thinking because I've got another two extras whether I should put them in or not and I decided in the end not to go with with the other two because they were kind of bent a little bit and they wouldn't look good in the piece I don't think I'm thinking now, looking at this piece, the end piece, that I should have probably add, added some, uh, a few more like different flowers, like those little white flowers that they put in flower arrangements to complete the picture. It looks uh, a little bit simple, but uh, overall, I'm I'm happy with it. So here they are. I've got the the three roses in there and I'm using the Blue Lagoon pigment paste, La Res of course and just a little bit at the end of that shish kebab stick which turned out to be too much I just wanted a real clear kind of aqua water look and uh, you probably won't see it in this video but I, I ended up uh, pouring it into the cup and then tipping some out and just adding some clear resin to tone it down a little bit because it was too much the pigment is just so strong and uh, you know it was just uh, way too much you were you weren't able to to see the little goodies that I put inside there and the little goodies are just a little shells and little stones that my auntie collected when we went to the beach a few times and I thought I would just pop them in, just a, like a little bit of a memorabilia for her. I know that she will love it. So what I'm doing is just using my heat gun to heat the cup and heat the resin. So, you know, to release those bubbles and, and make them float up to the top of the cup and then pop. But uh, it's... Uh, it didn't really work that well it worked a little bit but not as good as I thought I didn't get a real clear look but in saying all that it still looked amazing because those bubbles inside the the actual cup and the actual end result uh, just completed that whole you know, scene of the water and an underwater kind of uh, a look. And you know what? I just love how uh, the whole thing just uh, ended up looking so natural. Those bubbles, which you will see, uh, and if you don't want to wait for the whole process, just fast forward to, to the end or near the end, and you'll see some photos of the the actual inside of the cup and uh, the the those bubbles just look so amazing it's just like um, I have that shell shell uh, with the with the pearl in it and about five or six bubbles coming out of them it just looks so natural it's it's something that you can't really create on purpose it just happens and I love it when things like that happen you can't predict it you just have to go with it and, uh, you know, hope for the best. I've had a few hiccups with the cup, the silicon cup, and uh, that's because I think I've overheated uh, the, the silicon with, with the heat gun, trying to, you know, release those bubbles and created... Uh, an environment where the silicon glued onto the resin which you know overheated the resin was so hot the whole cup was steaming hot and that's what happens when you have you know when you have your resin in a cup like that it will heat up it's just a chemical reaction that happens when you combine the part A and the part B uh, it creates heat which helps it set 
and that's what you want but like I said I added extra heat with the heat gun and uh, I had to pay for it later on I'm just putting a little elastic band around the stems of the roses just to keep them kind of uh, together and to stop them from sticking onto the the edge of that that cup because I poured some resin over them again just to give them extra extra um, strength and preserve them a little bit better so right here I am just adding a little bit more resin to fill the cup up and matching the color and you won't see that uh, it was just too dark the whole thing was too dark and you couldn't see uh, all the little things that I put inside the cup so later on I will tip some of it out like about half of the resin out of the cup and then adding some clear resin just to tone down that blue it's just amazing how strong the pigments are you know like even a tiny little bit at the end of that uh, toothpick even uh, created uh, a deep deep color too too deep for what I wanted it for it's still transparent but not transparent enough so I'm just filling the cup up all the way to the top and then a little bit later I will tip it out and just add some clear resin and use this blue color to to cover another piece we don't want to waste anything we're trying to preserve every little bit of resin because we know how expensive it is So I'm just cleaning up the area. I like to work in a clean environment if possible. And here it is and I'm about to try to unmold this and it's really not happening. It feels real heavy and solid but uh, when I tried to pull down the actual uh, silicon uh, cup away from the resin it just wasn't happening so I had to cut around it and that was a bit of a challenge because I managed to seal some of the silicon onto the resin and you will see what happens next so just keep watching and observing and learn from it that's what these videos are all about this learning and uh, observing and you know getting an idea Uh, just cutting around sorry I just had to jump in that bird was a bit loud wasn't it goodness gracious so yeah just cutting around it and just now trying to pull out the 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 silicon mold which is really a cup silicon cup just uh, really struggling here and wondering you know if you could only know what all the stuff that was going on through my head and just wondering how I managed to do this but I am absolutely 100% sure or at least 99% sure that it was that excess heat that I put in that spot and managed to melt it down 
and just trying to pull it out and it's happening yes yes almost there almost there So you can still use the bottom of that for something, but this here, oh my lordy lordy, okay, gonna have to work on that, but I want to just show you so you can see the inside of it, see all the shells, there's a bit of a pearl there, and that mother of pearl, so it's quite pretty, I even don't mind the little um bubbles in there and big bubbles gives character but i'm gonna have to do something about this i'm just gonna cut it like this now cut the top bit gonna have to sand it for sure pull that thing off just pretty much gonna have to cut it off and then sand it what a bloody shame. Alright, cutting this thing off now, just like that. Because it's totally stuck. I was so excited about doing this too. Once I said before, be careful using a knife. And I know some of you will be cringing now the way I'm doing this. So we should be going this way. Be much safer wow that is really stuck on there there you go gotta be careful with that torch and I'm sure that's what I did I melted the actually didn't use a torch it was a heat gun but that's the only thing that could have happened here is melting putting too much heat on on one spot and melting the um, melting the silicon into the resin so now I have to just not a problem I'll just um, cut all this off and then sand it down okay so here is my glass with my roses in it and all the little bits and pieces inside there <clears throat> the what I did was I just got my Dremel tool and just sanded the edges and created a bit of a kind of te uh, te textured uh, surface there because I'm going to glue some pearls on here just to camouflage this this idea this idea this um, bit here which is it's so annoying how that stuck on there so I just have a whole lot of little pearls these ones I bought them at, um, at one of the second hand shops it was in the craft section so I bought them a while ago and I think I did one piece with them and it turned out great so I thought I might just use them to if I could get this on it'd be great and I've got some super glue ordinarily I would use the two-part epoxy that sets real fast but I don't have any and this is going to be a bit of a bummer because there's a hole in there so maybe I can flip this around open it up like that and just glue it on in here and have it like that instead of like that okay so it's like a little flower hmm yep so what I'll do is I'll pop all these and then um, flick it around the other way and and glue them inside okay back in a sec Now that I've got them in there, I'm 
I'm just going to pop in some glue, just a tiny little bit in each one, like that. And then pop these pearls in there, try to center it. And there's a fly in here. How annoying. Let me try to keep, keep it in the center and try not to get my fingers glued because you know that super glue is super strong. Maybe use two hands, hey? It might help. There we go. Pop that in there. Okay, now I think I have enough here. Let's see how we're going to do this. So, let's see. First one is always a test. Might need a bit more glue. Because I want to, that's perfect. I want it to stick out a little bit to hide that edge there. Next, put a little bit extra in there, but I don't want too much because I don't want it to kind of drift down and make sure they're right. Okay, just keep going now. Hopefully I have enough in this little thing. Enough glue, I mean. It's a lot more air coming out than glue. So I'm just going around and gluing these little uh, steel cups with the pearls in them and uh, you know just yeah, it's uh, it's quite satisfying going you know one by one just popping them in there but what happened was when I came to the last one it just wouldn't fit so I ended up just uh, going with the pearl without the, the little uh, container that it comes in and it, it worked out all right it wasn't a problem at all okay now that I've done that it's looking okay I couldn't fit the whole thing in here, so I just popped one little pearl there just all by itself. Now, this part here that I messed up, I was thinking of gluing a couple of nice shells here just to camouflage it. Maybe like this. I'll arrange it somehow. Maybe have the white underneath and have the red one over the top of it like that just to kind of camouflage maybe having this way I'm just going to play with these ideas for a moment even like this is nice and then actually even like that looks great so let me see how i'm going to do this okay so i've decided how i want to how how, how i wanted this to look so i want to just place them like this like little angel wings and uh, of course I don't have the two of the same or similar colors and I've got like a little surprise in there that I've glued in there so here we go this is how I want them to sit and then she'll be able to peek underneath there and see those little little pearls hiding in there so here we go just got to make sure that this thing is not moving I've got one placed right there just trying to open this without oh, bugger it I'm not really opening it with one hand that's for sure here we go 
and then tuck it under there some glue just for a little second I just want to hold it there make sure that that takes like I said probably be better to use a uh, two-part resin like a quick quick setting one usually comes like in a little syringe okay just gonna sort of hold it there for a little second alrighty so now just got to make sure that I line this one up might have to stand up for that about there alrighty what I'll do is I'm just gonna put some of that glue here the idea is to hide all the imperfections and I believe I've achieved that with this So a little bit wet down there. Oops. Now I'm going to pop some underneath here. Make sure that holds. And I'm going to put a, I'm going to find a nice little pearl. And if I could get it off, it'd be great. Well, I found a nice one. That's why it came off. Okay, maybe this one. Alrighty. I suppose you can find these pearls in craft shops and things. I was just lucky that I was able to buy a whole box of them for like a couple of dollars at a second hand shop. Stand up again. And let's line this one under here. And I just want to put some more glue in there. kind of hold it nicely and what I'm going to do is wait for this to set and add more glue under here actually I might be able to do that right now just to make sure that doesn't move anywhere some more here Now what I want to do, and hopefully I won't muck it up. There's one that can sit on there. Put another one on top there with its, its little thingy. What do you reckon? I reckon that'll look nice like that. Let's try. Actually I'll do that last. What I want to do now is um, add a little bit of character. And I suppose you can just paint it with any glue. And then I've got some starlight blue, which is like a shimmery blue pigment. It's like a really fine, super fine glitter powder. And I'll so I reckon what I'll do is, I won't use this glue, I'm too nervous to use it. I'm just going to use PVA glue and then get that on top of it. Okay, so I've got a little bit of PVA glue here, which I'm going to brush over my shells. Of course, PVA glue dries clear, so I won't have a problem there. I just wanted to dress these shells up a little bit. and a little bit in the middle and then just gonna use some of this to kind of dab on top again I've got to stand up yes I'm dipping right in the jar 
because my my brush is wet and it's picking it's just picking up the the pigment without causing any issues in there when that dries it should give me a really pretty blue shiny shell at the moment you can see a lot of white there but that's fine and I don't mind that one is white and one is brownish kind of reddish brownish it doesn't really bother me adds to character just want to add some more of this shiny stuff and even pop some glitter on there this is a glitter powder actually went and got some holographic glitter and I'm gonna do the same thing just dab it on I'm using an old brush, so I'm not going to feel too bad about throwing it in the bin. I just want to make sure that I get this job right. So I'm happy with that now. This was the silver hologram, holographic glitter. Wait for that to set, and then I'm going to pop this little gem on there. Actually what I might do as well is get a little bit of holographic glitter in there as well. Just try not to just going in the little bowl. Just PVA glue. Shall we? I could have used the super glue in here probably would have been better because I don't know if PVA glue is going to whoops stick to this but we'll leave it as it is now and just get some of that blue just want to put lots of it in there so you can't really see it but you will see it when it sort of sets It'll have a nice blue kind of shiny look in there. Oh, it's so tiny and delicate. Try not to get it on the pearl. Alright, not bad at all. So let it all sit for, or oh, it's going to take a little while for the glue to to uh, dry up on these shells. So I'm going to let it sit like that and then pop this on top like that. That's how it's going to look. Well, <laughs> it's one way to camouflage it. Okay. I don't want to touch it anymore. I think that's it. Let's let it sit like that now. I already put some glue on there and let's let it sit. So back to narrating. While uh, I'm waiting for that glue to kind of uh, set a little bit, I'm just playing with the rosebuds and just uh, applying with the same brush some of the PVA glue and uh, and and some of that holographic glitter because I want to 
jazz up the, the rosebuds a little bit as well. I think they need it. They look a little bit sad and kind of dark and brownish. So they need a little bit of something. And here it is. Can you believe it? There it is. And product. I'm quite happy with it and I know that my auntie will love it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your support for purchasing any of the Lares products. Just go down and have a look at the description of this video and click on the links. There are distributors in the States and Canada and you can get uh, beautiful pigments there. So this is it for this video. I love you and appreciate you so much. I hope you know that. Bye for now.